Well, it's not bad for football weather. Mm -hmm. We know the air quality is a concern. That's the only thing that's a drawback, but yeah. otherwise, I mean, okay. I know when we looked at those temperatures, you just mm. couldn't ask for anything better. It's, no. just, it's just that it's, haze. Yeah. It's the haze that's out there. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be around for tonight, but it is going to improve heading into the next couple of days. And that's good news there, ladies. As you see, a lot of folks out there in red, and as I mentioned at the top of the newscast, we're in the orange, unhealthy air, not the best. It will improve with a shift of the wind, but limit outside strenuous activities just to make sure that you're going to stay safe out there. And with our City View camera, as we're looking out there, there's a lot of haze that continues to be a problem. Current temperature is 82 degrees, visibility down to five miles. Poor air quality is being expected, and that's what we have going on right now. Farther to the west, that's where the air quality is the worst. Lawrence farther out into central portions of Kansas. We go over the western portion of the metro. It's in the orange, but improving from Lee Summit, Blue Springs, Warrensburg, Sedalia, down to Warsaw, and even points to the east and northeast of that toward Trenton and Chillicothe. So you're breathing a sigh of relief there. Temperatures, as we mentioned at the desk, really pretty nice. 75 Trenton, 29 Chillicothe, 29 in Marshall, but 91 out toward Ottawa. So compounding the problem of the bad air quality, it's a little hotter, probably a little bit more sticky out there as well. 89 in Lacine and 80 in Atchison, 88 in Belton. Here's the evening forecast. You still see the yellow triangles because we've had not one, but two, this being the second impact day because of that poor air quality. We're going to drop from the 80s into the 70s. No mention of rain and 70 by midnight or so. Hurricane Lee, want to talk about that for just one second. It is going to be prog to be a category five storm. Already the winds are 130 miles per hour heading west northwest. Still think it's going to make a sharp turn toward the coast, but hopefully it's going to be missing say the Carolinas isn't going toward the middle Atlantic states, but this is something we're going to continue to watch. And this came up on Facebook. People are asking me, what's the difference? Why do we have a hurricane over the, say the western portion of the United States? Well, anything in the eastern Pacific and the Atlantic, those are hurricanes. Western, like west of the uh, time difference, that's when it's called a typhoon. Indian Ocean, that's where they're called cyclones. And around Australia, they're called, believe it or not, willy willies which is kind of silly, silly, but that's what they are called. Just tell you that. Look it up. Here's a look at first alert future scan. We do have a few showers that are a possibility. That's going to usher in some cooler air. Should also cleanse the atmosphere. Better chances of rain first portion of Friday. The rest of the day clears out with sunshine and hopefully a listen less and less of that haze that'll be out there. The temperatures though get up to about 85 for a high with a northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. The morning commute could have a few scattered showers or so. Exclusive first alert nine day forecast 80s for Friday as well as on Saturday, Sunday 83. Another chance of rain comes in on Monday, but look what it does to the temperature down to 72 for a high and morning temperatures go down into the 50s with the afternoon high staying in the 70s probably until further notice. I can like that feeling like fall out there as we're going into the first full week after Labor Day holiday.